Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I'm Serene, and today's video is going to be a decluttering of my entire makeup collection. I hate using that word, but it's kind of the term we use now here on YouTube. I feel like for a lifestyle beauty person here on social media, I have a relatively modest collection because I do try to get rid of things that I'm not going to get to, or if a friend needs something, I definitely like to pass it on to friends and family first. And I donate a lot as well as do huge, huge, huge monthly giveaways over on my newsletter, which is always linked in the description box. So if you wanna win brand new beauty products, Products every month make sure you check out my newsletter over on my blog this is kind of like a part two since I did my last huge declutter which was really successful and I will link that in the cards right now and in the description box I am going to go through everything by category these are all products that are sitting in my vanity I do have a little section of new products coming in that I like to sort through to do either tester Tuesdays over on IGTV or maybe um, rotate in to try out for a video or for content or just for review purposes. I have products coming in constantly, which is a blessing and I'm incredibly grateful for, and this is my job, so I have way more products than any one person should ever have at any given time, but I have worked in this world for about six years now, and that is why I have so much product. I am also having a baby soon, so I'm in a major, major nesting mode, and will be decluttering not just my beauty products, but my clothes, my bathroom, my skincare, everything. So if you like declutter videos, make sure you subscribe and turn on post notifications. Let's get started. I'm gonna show you the setup, and then I'm gonna go through each product and swatch and let you know what I'm keeping and what I'm getting rid of. One more thing, disclaimer, like I said, no one person should ever have as much product as I currently am going to show you or have. It is my job. I am very grateful to be able to call this my job, and I'm incredibly blessed to be able to call this my job. I absolutely love reviewing products for you guys. I love producing content, and it's just part of the job is de decluttering, and I encourage you to declutter your collection too, and make sure everything you use is definitely of quality and of substance and that you really enjoy it and if you don't find somebody who might enjoy it or donate it if it's still in good condition and can be sanitized or of course recycle it responsibly any used mascaras I always recommend washing off the wands and donating it to an animal conservation to use for baby animals and then all of the products that can be sanitized and disinfected always gets donated or passed on to friends and family anything that can't really be sanitized or disinfected I do end up having to find out how I can like recycle as much of the components as possible possible and some do end up in the landfill but do your best and I hope you guys enjoyed today's video flipping you guys around this is my vanity it was actually a closet with doors and we removed the doors to open up the space and create a little vanity nook for myself we put up the mirrors with the LED lights to make the mirrors light up or the mirror light up the stuff that I kind of use the most on my vanity and things that I've been meaning to test out on my vanity and then I have things that I reach for kind of like clear drawers and I have products pretty much broken up by category in the drawers on the desk as well as over here You'll see the three drawers on the right underneath my desk. That's got foundation, primers on the first drawer, and then of course um, lipsticks and lip products in the second drawer, and I forget what is even in the third drawer. So you guys can see like I have my main highlights and face base products up here easy to grab, and then I have my mascaras and brow products, some tools that I need to use pretty frequently, and then some palettes I've been using the most, and then some more products I reach for a lot. My brushes and my tools are there. And then this first drawer is going to be powders and contours and highlights, things like that. And this drawer is going to be extra palettes, eyeshadows, liquid eyeshadows, cream shadows, smaller palettes is going to be all of the products I reach for pretty frequently, some of my favorites. My brushes, I have a pretty modest brush collection. And then all of my eyeliners, eyeshadow sticks, 
and things like that. Foundations and everything in the first drawer. Lip products, like I mentioned, with some more eyeshadow palettes thrown in there. Some extra sponges, lashes, tools, things like that. Here is everything laid out on my bed on a clean towel. Every product that has been opened or that's been sitting on my vanity that needs to be decided what to do with. Am I keeping it? Am I tossing it? And even though I love everything here because I do try to get rid of anything I don't love, I am going to try and get rid of at least half of this situation. I just want to be clear and free and it just makes me enjoy putting on makeup more when I feel like I can see everything and when I feel like I truly am getting use out of everything. So while I do love everything that you see here, I cannot keep everything. I am going to do my best to pass it on so that it doesn't expire or get gross before somebody can get some love out of it. So this is everything laid out still too much for a modest collection for somebody who does this for a living. So let's start with the face products. I always like to start around there, just kind of the order I do my makeup. So this is going to be all of my primers, my glowy primers, my glowy dews, my powders, my tinted SPFs, my foundations, my powder foundations, and of course my setting powders and concealers. So I'm gonna organize each one now in categories of type. Okay, so let's start with some primers. I don't really wear primers all that often, and these are the ones that I have in my collection. So I really like the Silicone Free Priming Moisturizer from Good Molecules, but I hardly ever use this anymore because I just forget about it. This is a really lovely, lightweight, hydrating primer that doesn't have any silicone so it's going to be nice and preppy for your skin more like skincare and it's quite affordable so i like this one i think i might keep that i also really like the lila be a glow priming oil again i don't necessarily use these as much during the warmer months because i don't find that i need it but i do like this priming oil for when my skin's a little bit drier um, so I think I might keep those two. The Guerlain one with the gold flecks in it, this is a few years old now. So I'm gonna let this go because I just don't reach for it very often. And then I have the Change Maker Skin Optimizing Primer in normal to oily and then normal to dry. Because I have two very hydrating ones, I think I'm gonna let go of the normal to dry and then keep the normal to oily for the warmer months. So I think I'm going to keep these three primers, which is still kind of excessive for me. I think this is a good variety of primers and I'll try and make sure I don't keep any more and then I'm going to get rid of two. Moving right along to setting mist, I always love keeping an Urban Decay All Nighter. This is going to really seal the deal, keep your makeup looking nice and fresh. And I have a small bottle, so I feel like I should keep this. I really enjoy the Pixi Hydrating Milky Mist as an everyday kind of just facial mist, so I'm also going to keep this. I'm not a huge fan of the Physician's Formula Organic Wear Nutrient Mist Facial Spray, especially compared to the ones I really love, so I will let this one go. And then this is the SOS Save Our Skin Tower 28. I purchased this to test out and I do enjoy it and because it's so small I'm going to keep it too. I feel like setting mist are something that you can go through pretty quickly. So these three I will keep and I will get rid of this one. My most used category is going to be tinted moisturizers or very lightweight face Bases. And there's so many that always come out that I always want to try out. So I do need to try and be a little aggressive here, but it's so hard because this is my favorite category when it comes to face base. So let's just get started. This first one is the Glossier Skin Tint. I've gone through so many bottles of this, but I honestly haven't been reaching for it in quite some time. So as much as I love it, I think I can pass this on to someone who'll get more use out of it. And it's the Perfecting Skin Tint in G8. So I will let this go. 
I really love the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer, and I love that it has an SPF of 30 now. I also love that they have improved the SPF in general, so I'm going to keep this. One of my favorite new tinted products is the Le Beige Water Fresh Tint from Chanel. I am in the shade medium, and this is one of my absolute favorites. So I talk about this a lot on my Instagram stories. Chris bought this for me right before I got pregnant, and I just love how the capsules of foundation burst as you absorb it into the skin. So you can see that, and it feels like water it works better with a brush than with my fingers rubbing it in but it is just this beautiful dewy natural skin with a really lovely coverage as well so i'm keeping this for sure as much as i love the shiseido waso color smart day moisturizer it's oil free with an spf 30. this is so cool i just haven't reached for it very much and it is getting a little bit old so i'm passing it on to somebody else who might get some use out of it this is an amazing tinted SPF with really decent coverage. It's just a really great product. Um, I just ended up purchasing some other products that I need to get through. I'm really bummed because I now that I'm playing with this, I forget how much I love it. But it's a really, really lovely product. I just, it's so good. I've gone through a couple of these and I think it's probably time for me to let this go because I still have this one that I just got this summer. So I'm going to let this go. Then we've got two of the Sisley Paris Fido Hydra Tints. These are beautiful tinted moisturizers. I am in between one and two, so I've been keeping both, but honestly, I think I'm just gonna keep one and then pass on two, because two is just maybe a little bit too um, dark for me, and I'll just squeeze that for you so you can see. You, it's, a, it's just very, very bronze, and I'm not quite that bronze yet. So one is probably a better shade for me. I'm actually going to put one on, which is a little bit more of a light peach. I just think one is a better color match. So I'm gonna let, I'm gonna keep one and let two go. One of my favorite products from the drugstore is this Pixi H2O Skin Tint. It's such an incredible product and it's a tinted face gel. The texture is really unique and lightweight and I really love how it looks on the skin. This shade might be a little too light for me now, so I don't, I don't know. I still feel like I wanna keep it, so I'm going to keep it for now. I am in the shade Nude number two. I've gone through so many of these Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue Tinted Hydrating Gel Creams. These are absolutely amazing with a physical SP of 30. I'm in the shade Buttercream. I just haven't reached for this in a while, and even though it looks kind of full, I've used quite a bit of it, so I'm going to let this go. And like I mentioned earlier, I just purchased this one from Suntegrity. It's the Impeccable Skin Moisturizing Face Sunscreen a mineral matte coverage and it's got a physical SPF 30 non-nano technology with zinc oxide. I really enjoy this and it's more of like a almost like the It Cosmetics CC cream so I'm going to keep this. Row two of my tinted products. These are my Kosas tinted face oils and I love these so much. Currently I am in the shade 04 and then in the winter time I am 3.5. I keep five around in case I'm in between the 3.5 and four, but I really don't need to. So I'm gonna get rid of five. I'm going to keep 3.5 and four. I'm such a huge fan of Kosas. You guys know how much I love them if you watch my channel and I kind of am obsessed with everything they come out with. So I'm keeping both of those shades. Next up, I have the Pure 4-in-1 Tinted Moisturizer. I enjoyed this, but I don't need another tinted moisturizer, so I'm gonna let this go. This is probably one of my favorite new discoveries from my Tester Tuesday series on IGTV. It's the Maybelline Dream Urban Cover, and I had seen Melissa use this a ton, and I picked it up, and she is correct. This is like the best thing ever. It's this beautiful, flawless finish, and it's affordable. I'm in the shade 220 Natural Beige, so I'm gonna keep this. I am torn about the Well People SPF 30 Bio Tint. This is in the shade Light, and it expires next year, but I just, find it a little thick and not easy to absorb. Like it almost tugs at my skin when I'm 
when I'm trying to massage it in. I do like that it comes in a pump. I do like that it's clean, but it's just very, very thick and tacky, and I don't love the texture of that, so I'm going to let this go. The Burt's Bees Goodness Glows Tinted Moisturizer, and while I do like this, I find that I have a lot of other ones, but if you're looking for an affordable, clean drugstore brand, check this out. I am going to let this go. And then next up, I have the Ilia Super Serum Skin Tint SPF 40 with niacinamide, squalane, and hyaluronic acid. This is a beautiful SPF product. It goes on lovely. It's very hydrating and also um, settles down kind of like a demi demi satin finish and I love that it has a physical SPF 40 unfortunately the shade just isn't my match so I'm gonna let this go this is Formosa so this is going to be in the maybe somebody with a lighter skin tone will like this for me I'm gonna keep two of the Kosas tinted skin, uh, face oils I'm going to keep the Maybelline Dream Urban Cover, the Pixi H2O Skin Tint, my Sun Integrity Impeccable Skin, my Cicely Paris Tinted SPF, my current favorite, the Chanel Water Tint Fresh Tint, and then of course a tried and true Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer with now SPF 30. So these are the ones I'm keeping. And then for the products I'm getting rid of, will be right here and I think I did pretty good I feel like it's like a f um, I'm keeping one two three four five six seven eight and I'm getting rid of one two three four five six seven eight nine it's always a good day when I'm able to get rid of more than I'm keeping Now we are talking about more traditional foundations and this is the category that I love but don't use quite as often in my everyday life. So I do need to be a little more aggressive because I just will not go through all of these. Now the first one I really love keeping for when I have really bad skin days is going to be this Derma Blend Smooth Liquid Camo. This is a great medium to full coverage foundation. The issue is I think it might not be the right shade for me right now. Um, I am a little tanner, but it is such a beautiful full coverage foundation that just truly covers everything and makes your skin look awesome. So I think I'm going to keep this one. Then I have the Dior Forever Skin Glow. This is rather new that I purchased in the winter time and I really love this. I wear 1.5 nude and it's a really lovely radiant finish. So I love that it comes in a pump. I love the way it finishes on my skin. It's definitely a little light for me right now, but I think I'm gonna keep this one as well. I purchased this Vapor Velvet Glow Foundation because I was really curious about it. Vapor is a clean brand, but I found that the last few times I was wearing it, it almost was a little too, um, it wasn't settling nicely into my skin. So this might have to be in a like, I'm gonna test it one more time before I let it go, but let's just see. I do like this color. I like the finish on my wrist. So I think I'm gonna try and keep this one. This is something I always love having in my collection. This is the NARS Zero Glow Foundation and I am in the shade Light 6. Such a beautiful, beautiful product. Next is the Physician's Formula Organic Wear Skin Foundation Elixir. This looks absolutely stunning on the skin, but I do have a lot of other products, so I'm gonna let this go. I did do a full review on this on my Tester Tuesday. Something that I know I just don't reach for enough is the It Cosmetic CC Plus Oil Free Matte. I actually prefer the original one a little bit more, so I'm gonna let this one go as well. Now, this is a rediscovery of mine. If you watched my video where I did 
full face of makeup I was planning on throwing away. I saved this from the throwaway pile because I absolutely forgot how much I love this. And the shade now matches me perfectly. It's 430, it comes in a pump, it's so good. There are a lot of doubles and I love these foundations, but the issue is the shade match. So I want to try and find something that just matches my skin and keep one of them. I'm actually thinking, now that I'm looking at it, I might get rid of the Derma Blend because Orsay is a smaller company. It's made for Asian skin tone specifically. And while I love Derma Blend, I have had this for a while. So I think I might get rid of this one now. I also really love the Bite Beauty Change Maker Foundations. I just don't really know which shade I am. So this one is L30. And I feel like when I used this, it was a little too pink. And then I have L45, which I felt like was maybe a tad too dark, but I don't know. So that's the problem. I think this L45 is almost too orangey. And then the lighter one is almost, that one's probably a better one. I think this one's just too orangey. So I'm going to get rid of the darker one and keep the lighter shade. Now for Orsay, I have trouble deciding which shade I am. So 030, I feel like is the one that I typically go for most of the time, but every so often I do get fair enough where I am 020, and this might be a foundation I keep both, just because it is kind of that, like it's perfect to sheer out and it's perfect to build up and it always looks beautiful on the skin. It's got great skincare qualities built for people who have oily on the outside, but dry on the inside, which is a lot of Asian skin. So I really love this brand. I'm gonna keep both of these. And because I'm keeping both of the Orsay, I am going to get rid of both of my Ilia. These for the longest time were my absolute go-to foundations because they're true to skin it looks absolutely stunning but i am going to let these go so not too bad these will be the foundations i am keeping i have one high end i have one a couple mid levels and then two that are very versatile this one i'm going to try out a little bit more from vapor and decide whether or not i'm going to keep it but really not too bad i'm get i'm going to be keeping one two three four five six seven and i'm getting rid of one two three four five six i'm 50 50 here almost before I move into my cream and powder foundations, I need to go back and talk about some of the more dewy, glowy products that go either underneath your foundation or on top. Not quite a primer, not quite a highlight. And the first one is the Glossier Future Dew. This is absolutely stunning. I love, love, love this product. It's such a beautiful product to go alone on top of your SPF on top of your makeup or underneath. It just makes your skin look really hydrated and dewy. Really love that. And it reminds me almost a little bit of this Brightening Youth Glow from Charlotte Tilbury. This one's actually quite old, so I'm gonna let this go just because um, it's a few years since it's been sitting in my collection. And it's a little bit more of a brightening versus the Future Glow, which is a little bit more of a dewy look so this will be passed on i'm gonna keep this i love these nars what are they called tinted glow boosters this one is in light and they come in four shades i believe this one is light and it just gives you this beautiful base and i also have it in medium i might let the go I might let the medium one go just because I feel like it's a little, well, no, it's actually really pretty on its own, almost like an all over do. So I'm going to keep both of these. So I'm keeping three and getting rid of one. You know what? Yeah. Yeah. I can't. Uh, keeping three. Let's move in to kind of my creamy foundations. I have the Kevin Aquan Foundation Balm in light 
4.5. I really like this. I know this was like a hit or miss product, but I quite enjoyed this a lot. So I think I want to keep it. Then I have the Lila B cream foundation and this is in B classic. I like this one a lot, but the packaging is a little cumbersome. So I think I'm going to let this go and focus using up the Kevin Aquan one, which honestly, who knows if that will ever happen. And then I have the La Prairie Skin Caviar Essence and Foundation. This is with SPF 25. This is a really lovely um, foundation. It's this beautiful, creamy, uh, like, I don't know how to describe it, but it's really, really good. Um, it's just kind of old, so I think I'm gonna let this go. So I'm just gonna keep the Kevin Aquan one. Moving into my more coverage types of powders, this is either going to be powder foundations or powder with a pigment to it. So this one is one of my absolute favorites. This is from La Prairie and it's still relatively fresh. So I think I'm going to keep it. This is just got this beautiful finish to it. And it's really unique because it's a powder finish that doesn't look powdery. And I'm going to try and get some more use out of this because it's just so easy to use. This is something also that's very similar where it works beautifully on all skin types, specifically dry skin that wants a powder finish. This is the Makeup Forever Powder Foundation and it is the Matte Velvet Skin Blurring Powder Foundation in Y305 is my shade. If you guys ever are curious about what uh, shades I am in some popular foundations, check out my blog under the Frequently Asked Questions page. I list all of my common foundation shades from MAC and so on. This is a beautiful one from Alima Pure. It's very similar to the Bare Minerals, a little cleaner than the Bare Minerals one. And I'm in the Satin Matte Foundation Olive One. This doesn't expire as quickly and I really like it, so I'm gonna keep that one. Then I've got some Jouer powders. These are absolutely beautiful, so I think I'm gonna keep this one. This is in medium and then I have one in light because they're just so good. They're talc-free. They're buildable, really beautiful for setting, also beautiful for um, just a light finish. And then because I'm keeping the Jouer ones, I'm going to let go of the Burt's Bees ones. The Burt's Bees ones are made with bamboo and it's a really beautiful drugstore, light coverage powder foundation or even a setting powder, but I just don't need to keep so many. So I'll be getting rid of two and keeping five, which I know sounds like a lot. Now let's talk about some setting powders or just translucent powders. I have this hourglass palette that just kind of keeps sitting there and I really need to use it up. So I'm going to try and make a dent in this. Now this is something I've been using a lot. This is the Bite Change Maker Foundation Flexible Coverage Pressed Powder Light 2. I use this to set a lot. And then I also have the Charlotte Tilbury. This one is such an amazing setting powder. It really makes your skin just look flawless. It's the Airbrush Flawless Finish Skin Perfecting Micro Powder in 2 Medium. Really love this. Um, it's kind of old, but it also says it's 30 months. So I think I'm gonna keep using this. And then this is a sample size of the Nude by Nature that my friend Mel from Australia sent me, but it is kind of old, so I'm gonna let that go. This is new to me. I still haven't had a chance to truly use it. It's the new Laura Mercier Translucent Honey. So I'm gonna keep this on my counter. And then this is the Kogan Doe powder that I've been using to set as well. It's really beautiful. It's a beautiful translucent. So I really like that. It's so lightweight. I'm keeping a lot of my powders just because they're all kind of a little bit different and I'm getting rid of one by Nude by, nude by Nature. Next up, let's talk about some concealers. 
I don't think I have a ton of concealers, but I definitely don't use all of these and I would like to get through more. So this is the Tatcha, the serum stick. I actually don't really use this and I need to, so I'm going to just put this out on my counter to be more effect efficient. This is one of my all-time favorite concealers from Clay de Poe, and I've gone through a few of these. Now, this one's kind of old, but I still can't bear to lose it because it's so expensive so i'm gonna try and use some of that up this is the kevin aquan sensual skin enhancer this is like one of those all-in-one products so i definitely forgot about this and need to pull it out again the glossier stretch concealer in g7 this is a little dark for me so i'm gonna let this go this is really the one I use the most. This is the Kosas Revealer Concealer, and I am in the shade 3. This I'm not crazy about. This is the Eborian BB Crayon. I liked the other one, but I don't know what happened to the other one that was actually my shade. This is too dark and not the right shade for contouring for me. One of my favorite cream concealers is the Alima Pure. This is so good, and I'm almost like i've hit pan so i'm gonna keep using this this is in the shade echo then i have a burt's bees concealer this one's not my favorite i don't think it's that great or special so i'm going to let this one go this is something i really enjoy but it's a little light for me and i prefer the revealer concealer and it's very similar to it this is the pixie by petra so i'm gonna let this one go I also have the liquid coverage from Pacifica. This is quite old at this point, so I'm also going to let this one go. Then I have the Lila B concealer. This is a cream concealer, but because I have the Alima Pure one plus the Clay de Poe one to get through, I think I'm gonna let this one go as well. And then I have my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. This is something that I always kind of have in my collection, so I'm gonna keep this for sure. I'm in the shade Medium 1. Here is a fun, unique product from Wander Beauty. This has a stick concealer that is actually quite nice. And then there is a liquid concealer, which is also really nice. So I'm going to keep this one because it's just a good one to have both options if you're on the go. And then this one, embarrassingly, I haven't even started using because I have so many to get through. This is the Magic Away Liquid Concealer full coverage, long lasting anti-dark circle correcting concealer from Charlotte Tilbury in the shade liquid concealer fair. So I'm going to keep this until I can even test it out. So not too bad. I'm keeping eight and I'm getting rid of six. Next, let's move on to brows and mascara. Luckily, I haven't opened up a ton of these products and I do tend to go through them and enjoy them and move on through them pretty quickly. So I have this Blink Black Lash Primer. I wasn't crazy about this. It has one of those um, like grabby wands, very rubberized, and I just don't really love it. So I am actually going to pass this on. Actually, I'm going to wash this and donate the brush. And then I have my Glossier Boy Brow. This is something that I kind of always have in my collection because I love the tint. I have it in black. I'm, I personally prefer brown, but I don't know why I have a black one, but I do. So I'm going to keep that. And then I have two brow pencils that I'm kind of working my way through. I have the Hourglass Arch Soft Brunette. This is a really beautiful soft brunette shade. Not too um, red or too dark. So I'm going to keep that. And then I'm going through my Kevin Aquan brow um, in brunette. And this is in the Precision Brow Pencil. So I've almost gone through quite a bit of it. That's, what, that's how much is left. So I'm keeping both of these just to use them up. And this one I really like that I found from Tester Tuesday. This is the Alme Brow Styler. This is just a clear brow gel. Very nice, simple, affordable. So going to keep that and use that up. This was something I like using, but it's just too much effort in the mornings. This is the Urban Decay Inked Brow, and it lasts a very long time. It's a really nice long-lasting brow product like if you needed it to be sweat proof and waterproof this is great it's just a lot of effort so i'm gonna let that go i only have one mascara this is my current mascara this is the nars climax mascara i love this for a nice voluminizing mascara so totally gonna keep that 
Then I love this e.l.f. brow gel. The problem is espresso is way too dark for me. So I'm going to let this go just because of the shade not looking right on me. It just looks crazy dark. And then this is my Elate Beauty Brow Balm. This is a great pomade and brow filler in one. You can see I definitely use it up. So I'm going to keep that around for a little longer. And then this is one of my like tried and true products. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Powder Duo in Dark Brown. I just love this. It's so easy and effortless. Trying to get the lighting so you guys can see everything, but I'm getting rid of three products and I'm keeping one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, I took a little lunch break. I am now back. Let's go through bronzers and contours. So this is one of my favorite new additions to my makeup, and this is the Dior Backstage Contour Palette. I love this stuff. I use it all over my face, and it was one of the most like perfect purchases for me. I know it's kind of basic, but it's got the contour shade. It's got a shimmery bronze. This is a beautiful eyeshadow, or you can deepen it up and then a nice little light highlight. So I'm definitely keeping this. This is one of my favorites. This is the Zuzu Luxe. This is actually a brightening powder, but I use it as a all over bronzer. It's the Mosaic Illuminator in medium and it just works really beautifully as a bronzer all over the face so I also want to keep this because I don't cream contour that often I am going to let go of this organic wear from physicians formula sculpting bronzer but this is a really good one if you contour it's like awesome same with the Charlotte Tilbury contour wand this is one of my favorites if I'm going to only have one cream contour it would be this I used it all up there's probably a little bit left in there but it's really old at this point so I'm gonna let this go and what's kind of replaced my Charlotte Tilbury one is the Chanel tan soul tan de Chanel this is one of those all-time ride-or-die favorites of people's and I recently purchased this I mean it doesn't look like it's been used, but I've been using it pretty much every day. So I just really like this one as well, and I'm going to keep that. One of my favorite bronzers are from Jouer. This is one of my first products I found from them that I love. Obviously, they've repackaged, and I love these just to have on hand. This is talc-free as well, and it's in the shade Sunkiss and Sunset. I haven't really been reaching for the Charlotte Tilbury Filmstar Bronze and Glow, even though I really like this. I think I just have other products. So I think I'm going to let this go. I have a lab sample from Color Science. This is their Stick SPF Bronzer. And this is nice, but I am going to also let this go just because I have the Tan de Chanel from Chanel. But this is really nice, actually. Like, if you are looking for an easy vacation product, this is it. I'm just not going anywhere anytime soon. And then I have my three bronzers from Kosis. Now, this is my favorite one. It's in the shade light, but the packaging has fallen apart, so I am going to let this go just because of that. Then the medium one is also really beautiful, but it's almost a little too bronze. However, I like using it as an eyeshadow, and then this one is a beautiful eyeshadow as well, but I do have eyeshadows in this shade, so I'm going to let this one go. This is in deep, and then I'm going to just keep medium. So not too bad. I'm keeping one, two, three, four, five. One cream, one palette, and three little bronzers. And then I'm letting, and then I'll be letting go of one, two, three, four, five, six. Moving on with highlights. I have quite a bit of highlights and I like highlighting so this for sure I'm gonna let go this is the Hollywood Beauty light wand from Charlotte Tilbury I've had this for a very long time I want to say like three or four years so it's definitely kind of past its peak this was something I really enjoyed but I think there are better products out there with like more balminess this is the tower 28 and it just gives you this really beautiful subtle like glossy finish but I just don't think I need it right now so I'm gonna let this go one of my all-time favorite highlights that I learned about from Caffeine Lights is this Laura Mercier Baked Highlight in 01. It is my favorite highlight. It just makes your skin look super healthy and glowy from within. And it just, it's like, 
if I don't know what to do, this is the one. So I'm definitely keeping this. Here is my Dior highlight. I splurged on this. This is the Dior Skin Nude Luminizer. And this is a beautiful, like almost iridescent pinky highlight, which I like. So I'm definitely going to keep that. And I really like this Pixie by Petra Delicate Dew. Pixie makes some really beautiful creamy um, powdery highlights. Such beautiful shades. So I'm definitely keeping both of these or one of these for two shades. I have this Alima Pure Highlights in Lumina and I like it. I just don't like how it's a loose powder. I just find I don't typically reach for it because of that. So I think I'm going to let it go just because um, I don't reach for it because of the packaging. Here is the Essence Pure Nude Highlight. This is a great drugstore finishing powder. It just makes your face look so flawless when you finish your entire face with this thing. So great $3 product, definitely keeping that. I have the ColourPop Lunch Money Super Shock Cheek. I haven't reached for this in a while and honestly I forgot I had it. I love the ColourPop formulation. I think it's so unique and it makes it almost look wet, but I haven't reached for it, so I think I'm going to let it go. Here is the Physician's Formula Dewy Highlight, and I did not like this one as much because I found that it was a little bit more drying. It does have a nice sheen to it, it's just not my favorite kind of cream highlight, so I'm gonna let that go. The Glossier Halo Scope in Quartz is an absolute fave of mine, and I do really like it. I kind of forgot about it, so I'm going to keep it because I love how hydrating and dewy it is. This is from Gabriel Cosmetics. It's Liquid Radiance, and I was obsessed with this for the longest time. It's such a really beautiful, creamy liquid, but I am going to let it go because I feel like I just haven't reached for it in a while. I'm not really into the rose gold right now. I completely forgot about this product. This is the Giorgio Armani A highlight, and I hope I still like it because this was kind of expensive. So I think I'm going to keep this around just to see if I can play with it a little bit more. This is something I really enjoy. This is the NARS Super Radiant Booster, and you know, these I feel like you'll just never get through because there's so much product and you need the tiniest amount to give this beautiful glow. So I'm definitely keeping that because I just love that. Look, it looks like a golden goddess. Now here's the Kevin Aquan Glass Glow Face. I want to keep this just because occasionally I feel like this would be fun to do for like a more editorial look where you kind of have that like glowy uh, gloss look so this is definitely like I'm just keeping around because I love makeup one of my all-time favorite powder highlights is citrine from Jouer I am gonna let this go but only because I have citrine in a face palette from Jouer's limited edition collection and I don't need to keep both so I'm gonna only let this go because I have the palette and I'll show you in a little bit I have this Revlon Skin Lights in 202 Twilight Gleam. I used it, I think, briefly, but I feel like it's so gorgeous. Um, it's like this gold highlight, and I don't think I have a gold, like a true gold, so I'm going to keep this around for a little bit. I have two of these cream highlights from Venix Organics, which is a great RMS dupe. It's also very clean. I personally prefer this brand over RMS, and it's just a really beautiful, natural, creamy highlight. So I'm keeping this one, which is in K color, and then there's this one in Wedding Ring, which is also a really beautiful highlight. Then I've got this brand new Hourglass Vanish highlight in champagne flash let's see if i even like this shade oh that's really pretty so i'm gonna keep that and start playing with it a little bit more i got it in a boxy charm and i kind of forgot about it and finally i have this jeffrey star cosmetics highlight in sarcophagus um i never reach for this 
even though it's like really beautiful i feel like i should just keep it because i paid a lot of money for this um i don't know i feel kind of like torn about his stuff but we'll just keep it for now these are the ones i'm keeping i have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve 13 highlights. I think I'm actually going to get rid of this Revlon one because I do feel like this golden one is very similar to the Revlon. So I'm going to let that one go. So now we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. So I'm keeping 12 and I'll be getting rid of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Moving on to blushes. This is a really hard category for me because I absolutely love blushes, but I really don't switch it up that often. So, okay, this is going to be hard. Let's start with some Kosas blushes, which I can just tell you now I'm keeping pretty much all of them. So this one is an eighth muse. I really love these. They're beautiful cream blushes. And then even the powder ones are lovely. This is Contra Chrome, which is a really beautiful light um, natural blush. This is something I reach for pretty much every day. This is in Tropic Equinox. And then I have this one, which is in Papaya 1972. So these are kind of going to be like my go-to blushes. So I'm going to actually swatch these so that I know which ones I already kind of have in my favorite formulas. So I'm only swatching the blushes because the highlights I've already kind of gone through and I know these are duos, but here's a good reference point for me. Now I know if there's like too many similars, I should let things go. So definitely keeping those. Now let's, let's move into the Charlotte Tilbury. So here is the Cheek to Chic Swish and Pop Blusher in Ecstasy. And I feel like this is very similar to Contra Chrome and in between Contra Chrome and Papaya. So I'm going to probably let this one go. I'm showing you the swatch there. And then this one is in the Climax. So this one is very unique. I don't feel like I have... Oh, maybe I do because it's like... A peachy wow that's very similar okay I guess I'm gonna let this go as well and then this is the champagne and macaroon sweet cheeks palette I love from Jouer I've got my favorite citrine uh, highlight and then I've got romance me and delight me blushes and then suntan bronzer so this is a great palette to kind of travel with just because you have everything and you can use these all over the face Definitely keeping that. I love the Pixie Glow Cake. This is in Gilded Bear Glow. So I like to use this area as a blush and then this as a highlight. But I'm realizing that again, the shades are very similar to these two. So I think I'll let this go just because, I don't know. Actually, I don't wanna let this go because it's so similar to the Kevin Aquan, like super expensive one. So I'm gonna keep this, I think. Now I have the Jouer blush in Terracotta Sands and Hot Coral. I think I'm going to let this go because I don't feel like I wear this shade very often. Although it's so unique. Like this one's similar, but this one is so different. I love that. Like it's almost like a coppery bronze. Oh, this is so hard. This is a maybe. Then I've got the Kevin Aquan in the Neo Blush in Pink Sands. I think I'm going to let this go because I haven't reached for this in a while. This is my all-time favorite cream palette. You've got the bronzer, you've got the blush, you've got the highlight, but it's quite old and it is cream. So I'm going to let this go from Hourglass. And then we have the Cover FX blush. I love Cover FX powders because there's no talc, just like Jouer. This is in Soft Peach. Um... Let's see. I feel like it's so similar to papaya, so I'm going to let this go as well. It's so interesting because when you start swatching things and you realize how many of the same products you have in the same color family, you're like, oh, I should really let that go. Um, so this is in 
the Toasted Cinnamon from Burt's Bees. I love Burt's Bees blushes. I don't think I have anything quite like this, but I do think I have it in like a cream. So I don't know. And then we've got this one in Bare Peach. So I definitely have this similar one in the Coast system. I'm gonna let that go. So we're kind of like, these are the maybes right now. We have a couple more powders. I have Ginger. This is a really, really beautiful um, Laura Mercier blush that's like perfect for every day. So I'm gonna keep this. And then I have the Hourglass in Dim Infusion. I feel like I have stuff that works for me better. So I'm gonna let this go. Now I have this Natasha Denona Bloom Blush and Glow Palette. This is really beautiful, these shimmers, but I just don't feel like I wear that shimmer. And these are really just, I don't know. I feel like I don't really, although that's really pretty. And then that's so dark. I just don't see myself using this very often. So I'm gonna let that go. So I feel like I should let these go just because, but I don't know, that one's so unique. I think I'm gonna let go of the Burt's Bees one, but I'm gonna keep the Jouer Duo. And then I gotta move in to some cream products up there. We've got a bunch of these uh, Lila B ones. I just haven't reached for this shade. This one is in Be Fearless, and then this is in Be True. I like this Be True, but it's almost a little too pinky. So I think I'm just gonna keep one of them, which is Be Lovely, which is my favorite. This is just a little bit easier for me to use. So I'm gonna keep this one and let go of these three. I have some lab samples, once again, from Color Science, and these are great SPF blushes, but they're kind of dried out, so I'm gonna let these go. I really enjoy this Nude Sticks Nudies matte in sunkissed it's a really beautiful kind of terracotta shade so i'm gonna keep this i have an oli eoso number 10 in t rose this is one of those like is she wearing anything is she not and i love these i found these from matilda um on youtube this is a tata harper very sweet cheek tint i've had this for a while i I think I'm gonna let it go because it's only really good for six months and I've had it for a few years. I have a brand new cloud paint in Dawn. Definitely gonna keep that. I have a Charlotte Tilbury Beach Stick in Formosa and this is also really beautiful so I definitely think I'm gonna keep that. Although let me just make sure Sunkissed is... Yeah, they're slightly different, not by much. Honestly, I think I probably am gonna keep both still. And then I've got a bunch of these beautiful Ilia Multicolor Haze Multipurpose Pigments. I really surprisingly was shocked at how much I love Sing. This is a beautiful all over the face color. I put it on my eyes. I put it on my um, lips, my cheeks. But And it's surprisingly like a really beautiful berry. And I don't have much like this. So I am going to keep this. And then I'm also going to keep Waking Up, which is one of my favorite shades, I think. Although, I feel like I might have too many things in this color scheme now. It's actually kind of um, dried out. So these were the original packaging with the more goldy bronze. So I think I'm going to let these go just because of that. And then I have these tinted multi sticks that I love and I don't think I need every shade but let's just play with some and see so Deepika came out with these I really love this one this one is in the shade rise it's got a nice orange tint to it and then this one is in found which is also something I really enjoy and then this one is in um, perk which I don't think I love just because it's a little too pale for me so I'm gonna let go of this one. And then I have Origin, which is a beautiful red, and then Free. So let me just open these up. So this one is in Free. 
I think that's a really beautiful fall shade. I might just uh, keep that around. And then this one is in Origin, which again, I think is a very beautiful fall shade. It's got like a burnt red almost. So I'll keep those. And then I have these two from Physicians Formula. I really, really I really enjoy this one, which is in the shade Gorgeous Peach. And then this one is in the shade Apricot. So I think I'm just gonna keep both. I really like them. I have a few palettes. This is one of my all-time favorite palettes from Cover FX. It's got your bronzer, your blush, your highlight, your finishing powder, and everything, but I think it's time to let it go, maybe? I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to let it go. It's so good, but it's only good for a year, and I've had it for a while. Then we've got the Hourglass Ambient Lighting. Um, this, I keep it really for this, but I don't even use it, so I'm going to let that go. And then this one is also just absolutely stunning, but like I, I don't use it, so I need to let it go. So I think instead I will just keep this palette for now, just because I love it so much. Um, maybe I can hit pan on it, and then I won't feel so bad. So we'll definitely keep that. And I'm going to end up keeping one, two, three four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one. 14, 15, 16, 17, I'm keeping 21 blush products, which is quite a lot, but here's how many I'm getting rid of. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. Okay, so almost half. That's not bad. Getting rid of these, keeping those. Moving on to eyeshadows. Now this is probably another one of those really hard sections for me, but to be completely honest, I just don't wear eyeshadows as frequently as I used to, and I typically uh, just use the Kosas 10 Second Eyeshadow, or I'll use a couple shades, but I'm not as into doing my eye makeup as I used to be. So I do have to keep that in mind in what I keep. So let's just start with some palettes. And then I also have like a bunch of eyeshadow crayons and singles, but let's just start here. So this is going to be the Lila B. This is such a stunning palette. This is the B Stunning, and you've got just really gorgeous, like smoky shades, but I haven't reached for this in so long, so we're gonna let that go. The one from Lawless, this is a clean, talc-free eyeshadow palette that's really neutral and basic. I like using this because it has like the black, the white, and the taupey browns that I need for most looks. So I'm gonna keep this one. The Ether Beauty, I kind of wish I held out in purchasing this because they later came out with a bunch of different eyeshadow palettes I really liked more than this one. And I have been getting some nice uses out of this, especially playing with some of these more pinky shades, which I typically don't reach for. Um, so this is going to be a maybe just because I like the brand. I just don't tend to reach for this that often, even though the shades are really gorgeous. I really enjoy Charlotte Tilbury eyeshadows, and this is the Dolce Vita one. This is my second one. It's such a beautiful, beautiful um, quad. So again, this is like probably a maybe. I just have to see what else I want to keep. And then the next one is going to be this one from the Golden Goddess. 
This is also really stunning, um, which is actually very similar to this ether one. So I think I might let the ether one go and keep this one. And then I have the Charlotte Tilbury Exagger Eyes. And this one, I kid you not, makes my eyes look huge. So I really like this one. And the shimmer on this is beautiful. Just really pretty soft shades. And then we've got this one in the Uptown Girl. This one is very unique. I don't do a lot of smoky looks, but I like keeping it around because I don't do it. And between this one and this one, the Golden Goddess, I feel like I have a lot of that ether palette. So I might keep this around, I don't know. That's like a maybe right now. Um, then I have this palette I just got in, so I'm gonna keep this just to play around with it more. It's the Pixie by Petra Summer, Sheer Summer Palette, and you've got a lot of options here, and it's talc-free, which I like. Now I have the Pro Palette from Ofra, and this was like my obsession for the longest time, but I just don't reach for palettes this big that often even though it's like so good you've got your brow products you've got your bronzer your highlights your setting powder you've got blushes you've got so many eyeshadow options but i think someone else that i know would enjoy this more and i have another pro palette the boho pro palette is my favorite one by far so if you're thinking about getting one check out the boho uh, palette from ofra then i have this discovery from tester tuesday it's from the lip bar and it's their eyeshadow quad really gorgeous shadows really really beautiful this is in brown bombshell and then i have the charlotte tilbury instant eye palette this is my favorite one that she's come out with and i regret not picking up a backup because desk eyes is my favorite trio and i'm keeping it around just for desk eyes but i'm thinking because date eyes is very similar to some of these i might not keep I don't know. I really love desk eyes. I think I'm going to have to keep that. I have the Antonym eyeshadow palette. I never reach for this, so I'm going to let this go. It's a noisette. I also picked up the Charlotte Tilbury Stars in Your Eyes palette. This one, I don't reach for as much, but I feel like it's just because it gets lost. I feel like the colors are really stunning and beautiful. I think the one I reach for the most is going to be Power Eyes, and it's just such a be beautiful shimmery combination. So I'm going to keep this around a little bit longer. I have a couple NARS palettes. This one is the NARS Overlust. This is actually a cheek palette that is in the wrong place, but I love this formula. It's such a unique formula. I think it's so cool. You've got these really interesting like colors, and then you have these really interesting like powders. This one's my favorite, but I just don't reach for it that often right now, so I'm gonna let that go. Then this is the Afterglow palette, which I was using like crazy around the holidays, but I just haven't reached for it since, so I'm gonna let that go. I have my Tom Ford Nude Dip. This is beautiful, it's barely touched. I'm gonna keep this a little bit longer, which actually makes me think I'm going to get rid of the Uptown Girl because it's very similar, so that's gonna go, and I'm gonna keep the Tom Ford. Then we've got the NARS Skin Deep palette. This one I just really love. I, for whatever reason, don't reach for it that often, but I feel like I should keep it just to see if I can get some more use out of it. I think I just forgot about it, so I'm gonna keep that. And then this is the Charlotte Tilbury, like I loved these, and this was the last one I kept, instant look in a palette. I feel like I uh, I forgot about it, so I'm gonna, I wanna keep it just because I forgot about it. But yeah, I'm gonna keep it because I forgot about it. Then we've got this beautiful Pixie by Petra. This is the Reflect Eyes, but I'm gonna let this go just because it's all shimmers and I rarely reach for all shimmers. I am so happy I only have one eyeshadow primer, so I'm definitely keeping that for when I need it. Here is the Ilia eyeshadow in Warm Nude. I love this, but it's very similar to a lot of things that I want to keep, so... I don't know. I think I'm going to let this go. 
This is the Pacifica eyeshadow. Um, very soft shadows in pink nudes. Very pretty, just super, super soft. So I'm going to let that go. Then I have this in the I, the Tom Ford Eye Color Quad in Coco Mirage. I've had this forever, like forever. I think I need to let this go. This is a newer addition to my collection that I purchased recently, the Natasha Denona Bronze Palette. It's so beautiful. So I'm definitely keeping this. And then one of my favorite palettes is the Tati Beauty Volume 1 palette, so I'm definitely keeping this as well. It's just a really beautiful neutrals palette. And I have the Conspiracy palette, which I think I'm going to let go because I've honestly, I only used it once or twice since purchasing it. It's just very cumbersome packaging, beautiful shadows, but just not really my cup of tea, honestly. Um, so I'm going to let that go. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Wait, did I count this one? Thirteen eyeshadow palette situations is what I'll be keeping. And I will be getting rid of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 products. So pretty even split there. I think that's good for someone who doesn't wear a ton of eyeshadows anymore. So continuing on with the eye products, I've got single shadows and types of pot shadows over here up on the left-hand corner, eyeshadow crayons, eyeliners, liquid eyeliners and pens on the right, and then single liquid eyeshadow balm weird types of formulas up there so we're gonna start over here with the pots um on the left hand corner let me just move that in so right off the bat i really enjoyed these mac limited edition star aligned spellbound shadows but they are limited edition i don't really reach for them anymore because you guys can't get them so if i do a makeup look and you ask me about it and i can't uh, you can't get your hands on it. It's not usually fair. What I love about it is that it uses a magnet on the bottom to create this kind of look, and it's just pigments. I really liked these, and I hope they come out with them again in their um, full collection. So I'm going to let these go. One of my favorite single shadows is this... Co uh, one of my favorite single shadows is this Cure Weiss shadow. I don't really know what shade is it. I think it's Charmed. It's just the perfect taupey shadow. And then I also really like this wet or dry shadow from Burberry, and this is in Rosewood. So I'm just gonna swatch that. It's a beautiful gray. Is my camera focusing? Yes. So those two I'm gonna keep. I'm going to let go of the Glossier Play Glitter because it's been discontinued. And again, I don't like to keep things that are too discontinued for you. Then we've got the Tom Ford Cream Shadow and Spice, and this is so old. I keep it because it was the first makeup my mom really bought me when I was starting YouTube, and if you guys don't know, I lost my mom a while back, so a lot of the products that she bought me to kind of like support my channel, I just I have trouble letting go of, so I'm definitely keeping that for nostalgic purposes. And then I have this one. This is like my second one that I've had. This is so beautiful. This is New Moon from uh chanel it's just this beautiful beautiful like purpley shimmer and every time i wear it i get so many compliments so i'm definitely keeping that then i have a bunch of these hourglass scattered lights in foil i have it in reflect and i have it in smoke i really love these they're just so so stunning so i think i'm going to keep all three of these um, I know there's like more shades, but this is beautiful gold. I'm gonna keep those. I have these NARS, what are these called? Shockum. Uh, no, that's the color. Powder Chrome Loose Eye Pigment. These are absolutely stunning. Let me just swatch one for you guys. So they are loose, so you want to be careful when you're opening them up. They're just un- they're just so incredible. 
I'm definitely keeping these. They're so fun to play with. And then I have the Charlotte Tilbury Eyes to Mesmerize in Jean. This is a really beautiful, moussey, light shade. Perfect for just that, like, is she wearing something? Oops. Perfect for that, is she wearing something? Is she not all over the lid? So I'll be keeping one two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen of these single types of shimmers. And I am going to get rid of one, two, three, four, five. Next up are going to be all of kind of my liquidy singles. I'm actually going to get rid of all of my Glossier Lid Stars because they're quite old. I got these when they first came out and they're liquid, they touch my eyes, so I'm gonna let them go and I can always get new ones if I want them. I'm also going to get rid of these milk makeup ones. I just never reach for them anymore and they're quite old. These also have been around in my makeup collection since they came out. I never reach for this MAC glitter even though I think I'm going to. I never do, so I'm gonna let that go. Um, I really love these sky washes from Glossier, so I'm gonna keep these around. They're just the most beautiful wash of color. They last all day. They don't do anything funky or weird, and they just look like a nice pottery stain. So I really love these. And then I really love my Kosas 10 second eyeshadows, but I don't know that I need the blue because I never reach for this one. So I'm gonna let this one go probably. Let's just swatch it. I haven't swatched it since it came out. Yeah, I'm gonna let this one go just because I don't see myself using that shade very often. Um, I might keep this one. This one is in nitrogen. Let me just try it. Honestly, I don't wear blue very often, so I think I'm gonna let that one go as well. But when it comes down to them, I really love Element and Globe. I switch between these two the most. And then of course there's these beautiful orangey tones and also these beautiful purples. So let me try, there's Copper Halo, which is I think a beautiful like almost muted matte. And then there's Supreme. which is a really pretty gold. So I'm gonna keep these. And then I have these Laura Mercier, what are these called? Lightweight liquid eye colors that I've kept around, but I haven't really used them. So I just feel like this shade is a little too cool tone for me. So I'm gonna let this one go in Moonlight Shimmer. And then there's Opalescent. I just don't think I'm wearing these, I'm, so I'm gonna let them go. And then I have this Juice Beauty, which I like, but honestly with keeping this guy, uh, but honestly like keeping all of the other ones, I don't need it, so I'm gonna let that go. So I'm going to keep one, two, three, four, five, six of my Kosas 10 second eyes, all of my Glossy Sky, wa uh, sky Washes, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And I'm going to get rid of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So I think that's good. It's like a 50-50 split almost. Next up, let's talk about some eye crayons. Um, these I used to use all the time. I don't use them as frequently anymore, but these are new from Pixie for, for me. And I really like both of these shades. I've already worn them this week. So this is in the shade, what shade is this? Endless Shade Stick in Copper Glaze. And this one is in Matte Cocoa. Oh, and I just broke that. So we're gonna let that one go, but I will keep this one. Then I also really like Marooned from Nude Sticks and these are super long lasting. So I'll keep that one. I have Intense 
Amethyst from Laura Mercier. This is a really beautiful purple. Almost reminds me of the Chanel um, Moon. New Moon that I love. Um, this is in the shade Rush, which I really enjoyed for a while, but I just haven't reached for, so I'm going to let that go. I always like to keep... Oh, I just tried Girl Prey girl gray pearl the other day and it didn't look really good on my eyes so i'm actually gonna let that go then i have the shade plum i love purples on me so i think i'm gonna keep that we've got the color chameleon from charlotte tilbury and amber haze this used to be a favorite of mine i just haven't really reached for it but yeah i'm gonna let that go then i've got this is in Sand Glow, the Caviar Eye Sticks from Laura Mercier. I think this is really pretty. I'll try that out. What ends up happening is I find out that like once I keep a color, it doesn't necessarily look good on me. So this is in the shade Caramel. And then this, I find Cobblestone. I just think things that are a little too gray doesn't look really good on my eyes. So I'm going to let that one go. And then this one is in copper, which I think is really pretty, so I'm going to keep that. Then there's rose gold, which I always keep because it's such a beautiful shade. We've got smoke, which is a beautiful black. I have prana from Nude Sticks, which is also really pretty, but it's very similar to this copper, so I'm going to let that go. And then we've got the metallic taupe. Very, very pretty. Going to keep that. I always like keeping a black matte around. Most of these are Laura Mercier just because they're my favorite formula. And then this is a beautiful sapphire shade in that blue. I always keep a little something around for color. And then this is Kahaki. I think this might be... Oh, well, I like that. I'm going to keep that. I just have to remember to play with these. And then we've got Vanilla, which is a really beautiful base plus inner corner highlight. And then I have Intense Moonlight. Really pretty. Um, Cocoa, which I like that it's almost like a matte. And then this one is in Burnished Bronze which is like a, a reddish, so it's really nice, like a plummy brown almost. So I know I'm keeping a lot of these, but I really like them, and they're so easy to use. So I kind of hopefully will rediscover them a bit. So I'm keeping one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. And I'm going to get rid of one, two, three, four, five, six. Didn't do too well there, but did get rid of some. Let's talk eyeliners. My back is starting to hurt. I'm not a crazy fan of these Burt's Bees eyeliners, so I'm actually going to let them go. This is my favorite black eyeliner. It's got the calligraphy pen from Tom Ford. It's just a really beautiful um, easy to use. It's not the most waterproof. And then I have a brown one from the Feline Flick from Charlotte Tilbury. I don't love the brush, but I do like that it's brown. So I, I just got this. So I'm keeping that. And then this is something I really like having around. This is the Laura Mercier Cake Liner. It's such a beautiful, beautiful, easy to use eyeliner. And then we've got the Ofra Fix Line Gel Eyeliner. This one's probably a little dried out, so I'm going to get rid of that. But really great gel liner. And then I have a bunch of these Zuzu Lux eyeliners. Um, I really love these, but they're quite old, so I'm going to let them go. And then I have a Nude by Nature Defining Eyeliner. Let's grab this out. I think it's one of those um, pens. So I like how dark it is, so I'll keep that around for a little bit. Um, so not bad. I'm keeping four eyeliners, and I'm getting rid of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then now we're talking about the stick eyeliners, or the crayon eyeliners. 
pencil eyeliners. So this one I'm for sure keeping. It's from NARS. It is in the shade, um, I'm, I'm going to brutalize these NARS names. It's Rue something. Um, the, this is the perfect like waterline to make your eyes a little bit brighter. So I definitely keep that because I use it almost every day. Then I have an Alme eyeliner. It's brown. I have lots of brown eyeliner, so I'm actually going to just get rid of this. I have a bunch of these Sicily Paris eyeliners, which are beautiful, but I've had them for so long that I'm going to let them go because they're definitely like at least three years old now. And then I'm not a huge fan of the Kira Weiss eyeliner. I feel like it runs on me all the time, even though I love that it's clean, it's brown, it's easy to use, but it doesn't last on me. So that's going to go. Um, I'm also going to let go of these Urban Decay ones just because they were limited edition for Game of Thrones. Um, another Sicily one I'm going to let go of. More limited edition ones from Urban Decay and MAC. Letting those go. Um, I've got some really fun shades. Oh, don't like this Burt. So I'm going to let that go. I have these fun ones from Glossier that are kind of fun colors. So I'm going to keep that around. I have a beautiful black one from NARS. NARS really makes amazing, amazing pencil eyeliners. And then we've got another brown one from Glossier Play. So again, really not going to need to go anywhere. You should always keep a white eyeliner, I feel like, in your kit. And then this gray one, I don't think I'm going to use because I just don't think gray looks that good on me. But it's more silver, so I might keep this just for like a fun makeup look. Let me show you these Glossier Play ones. This is in Cash Salad. It's a really unique khaki look. And then this one is in... Uh, stable relationship just really like unique shades so actually I don't think I'm gonna wear these because I think it made my eyes look kind of jaundiced so I'm gonna let those go um definitely keeping any of anything resembling brown from NARS and black we've got some beautiful blues um I don't know why I was keeping is this gold is that why yeah that's a really pretty gold this is, oh, I don't think I'm going to keep this yellow just because, oh, actually, this is actually really pretty. Okay, I'm going to keep all of my NARS ones because they're just so good. This is the Lima Pure one. I'm going to keep this because it's a nice brown pencil, and I want to see if this one will run on me. So that's what I'll be keeping. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. And I'm getting rid of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. So almost a 50 50 split. The final category, lips. Now, I have to be honest, I don't wear lipstick that often, and I typically either wear my lips are better, a gloss, mainly lip liners, and then occasionally a bold red lip. So I really need to fix this situation here. Okay, let's get started. I've broken them up into categories from unopened to like kind of lip crayons, lip pencils, lip glosses, liquid lipsticks, lip stains, and then balms over here on the right, and then regular lipsticks. So, so let's just pick a pile and let's get started. I think I'm going to start with lip liners, actually, because these are my most used lip products with glosses. So I don't have a ton of lip pencils because I really just use whatever is closest to my lips. So Hazelnut Tea from Laura Mercier is my go-to everyday one right now. It's just my lips, but better and I use it for pretty much everything. And then I have this one also from Laura Mercier in Saffron, which is probably a little too pink, so I'm gonna let that one go. Then I've got the Thrive Cosmetic Lip Fuller Lip Liner. And this one is a very nudie shade, so I think I'm gonna keep this just in case. But then I have some red ones I just keep around as well, just in case for when I do wear a red lip. So the Jouer 
lip liners are some of my favorite long lasting lip liners. They're super creamy, non-drying and last an ultra long time. And then I have this bite one, but I feel like it's kind of got this weird fuzz on it. So I'm going to let that go. Same with this one from bite. Actually, this one's okay. And I really like this brick shade. So it's in the shade 046. I'm going to keep that. Then I have the lip cheat from Charlotte Tilbury in Iconic Nude, which is a very nice nude. You always wanna keep a couple nudes. And then this one is from uh, NYX, it's Spice. It's one of my favorite ones. It's also very brownie, so I'll just keep that. And then I have a clear one from Bite. I haven't really played with this too much, so gotta play with that a bit. So I'm gonna keep these, I'm getting rid of two. Next up, lip crayons or lipsticks in this type of form. I don't really use these that often because for whatever reason, I just don't. I typically reach for a lipstick, a lip gloss, or a lip stain a little bit more. So I don't think I need to keep too many of these around, honestly. And I don't really wear them that often, even though they're really great products. So I'm gonna get rid of both of these from Laura Mercier. I do like this NARS one in the shade. It's the Satin Lip Pencil in Raw Tea. This is a really pretty like browny gloss. So I think I'm gonna keep that because it's very wearable. And then this one is in the shade Take Me Home, which is again, a very pretty like wearable shade. So I feel like I'll keep those. I have the Sisley Paris one that's like a balm. I'm gonna let that one go. This one is also from NARS. This is in Balboa. I think I can let that one go. I have some bite ones. This one is in the shade Brandy. Um, and I'm gonna let that go. I don't know that I love these shades so much. So this one's too plummy for me. I'm uh, Pavlova. And then this one I might keep. This one is in Onion. I'm not saying that right. This one is like a mauve-y. I don't know. I don't love it. I honestly don't love these like plummy shades that much. So red velvet might be pretty. I just don't see myself wearing these shades. So I'm going to let those go. I'm just keeping two of these. Moving into liquid lipsticks. So I don't wear liquid lipsticks that often anymore and they have to be really comfortable. So this Clove and Hallow is a beautiful red, but I just don't wear it. So I'm going to let that one go. I have yet to wear this Fenty Beauty one since I purchased it. So I think I'm going to just let it, oh, I don't know. I thought I'm going to let it go. This is the Jeffree Star one in Androgyny. I really like the shade, but, um, yeah, I don't know. I feel like I should just let that go. I have my Chanel in Rouge Allure Ink 154. I feel like it's still really pretty, so I'm going to keep that. I love this Lawless one in George, and I actually almost tossed it, but I rediscovered it thanks to my full face of products I'm getting rid of. I didn't think I would love it, but I really love it with my Hazelnut Tea Lip Liner. And then this one is in Romeo. So it's, um, I want to say it's like a deep red, which I enjoy. So I'm going to keep that. I like the Lawless formulas. They're really hydrating and feel good. And then I have the L'Oreal Infallible, which is very similar to George. Not um, exactly the same, but very, very close. So I'm going to let go of the L'Oreal one just because I'm going to keep George. I love having one of the Jouer lip toppers. These are so beautiful and they look really gorgeous on top. So I'm just going to keep that. And then I have Ofra liquid lipsticks. These are my favorite ones. And Las Oleos, I feel like is very similar to... George. It's a little brownier. So I'm going to let go of that one. It's also feeling a little dry. And then this one is in Brickell, which is a beautiful red, stunning red, but I just don't really wear such a red shade anymore. I have the Makeup Forever Artist Nude Cream in 10. These are so comfortable and beautiful, but I don't know that I need a shade that deep. So again, I feel like, I just feel like my lips look huge when I wear something too dark. And then this is in Hypno from Ofra, which is almost the same color. So I'm going to let that go as well. So I'm going to keep four 
one little mini, honestly. And then I'm going to get rid of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I wear glosses the most nowadays, and so this is going to probably be my bigger pile. I love these and tinted lip balms. It's just really hard to keep things. It's just really hard to decide which ones to keep. So I love my Kosas ones. Um, this one in Dip is my favorite. It's my favorite gloss and it's clean and hydrating. So I really love that. And I also like Jellyfish, which is this clear version. So I'm gonna just remember I'm keeping those. This is a Glossier one. Um, I don't feel like I need to keep the Glossier ones because I have so many of the other ones I want to keep so I'm gonna let these go I really love this gloss from Dior it is their Dior Attic lip lip maximizer in 012 it's a little bit lighter than dip from Kosas this is something I really love too this is from NYX and it's nude 08 it's a deeper high pigment gloss And then I have the Kosas gloss in fruit juice, which is a fun berry shade. Um, I'm not gonna really wear this MAC one because it was limited edition, so I'm gonna let that one go. Uh, nothing wrong with it, it's a great product. Then we've got the Kosas one in um, Malibu. I forget if I like this shade. It's very pinky, but I don't think I'm going to keep very much stuff that's pinky, so let me just keep that one. I'm going to let go of the Lila B. This is in B Bold. It's a really beautiful shade, but I have something very similar, so I'm going to let that go. I also have this clear gloss from Pixie, which I'm going to let go because I have Oh, I don't know. Actually, oh, I love these clear ones and they get so gross so quick. So I think I'm going to keep that. I love my Tower 28. This is like their tinted lip oils. Very subtle tint, but really hydrating and comfortable on the lips. Don't really love this red from Glossy, so I'm going to let that go. I just got this from Ulta and I really enjoy it. It's their juice infused lip oil and I got the peach and jojoba oil. So I'm going to keep that. This is the NARS Orgasm Lip Oil. I can't remember if I liked it. I think I'm going to keep it around just because I can't really remember if I used it or not. And then we've got the Wander Lip Retreat Oil Hue. Um, this is a really pretty shade and it's easy to use, so I'm going to keep that. And then I've got some higher pigment ones. So this is Stellar Lip Gloss, which is a high pigment one, but I like it, but I feel like I have this one from Lip Bar, which is very similar. I'm actually going to keep the Stellar one because I feel like I have something similar from Lip Bar, so I'm gonna let that one go. I love this gloss from Urban Decay, the Hi-Fi Shine in Fuel, one of my favorite glosses. Um, but it is very similar to some of the other ones I have, so I'm going to let that go. And then I have this one in, that's I think a little too nude from Jouer. It's in uh, Paris Lens. Um, I'm going to let the Burt's Bees go. I do like this one in Champs-Élysées from Jouer. It's such a beautiful one. It's one of my favorite ones, but it's really old. So I'm gonna let that go, even though it's a beautiful, beautiful shade. So I'm gonna keep one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve glosses. I'm getting rid of three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So not too bad, almost half. Next up, I have some lip stains that I really love. This one is the Fit Glow Beauty in the shade Root. This is absolutely beautiful. It's like a gloss into a stain, and it's such a beautiful, beautiful product. Very unique. And then this is one of my all-time favorite lip products. This is from Stylinita Velvet Lip Tint. It's quite old, but I just love it. 
and it wears beautifully so until I replace it I'm definitely keeping these two I'm going to get rid of this vinyl lip vinyl lick lip in pony just because I haven't reached for it since I got it and it's a little too browny for me so I'm going to keep these two and getting rid of one moving on to lipsticks so I don't really like this lip powder I find it a little drying even though I like the concept of it so I'm going to get rid of this from clay I have some lipsticks from MAC these were limited to limited edition and they're absolutely stunning like look how beautiful that is but I honestly am not going to wear it so I'm gonna let those go and then this is a really beautiful shade in chili from MAC which I might keep around I have to see because I also really like this Alima pure one in iris I feel like they're very similar so I think I'm gonna keep the iris one just because it's a cleaner formula then I have two Charlotte Lil Charlotte Lilbury Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks. I have this one in very Victoria, which is a really pretty brown. And then I have this one in Amazing Grace. And I like this one as well. So I'm going to keep both of those. And when it comes to lipsticks from Kosas, I'm obsessed. So here's Kosas Thrillist. This is a really beautiful, like chili shade almost. And I'm going to keep it just because it's a little glossier than these other two. Then this is in Stardust, which is a beautiful everyday shade. I have the shade in Ro uh, Undone, which is, you can tell, like definitely one of my favorites. And then I have in Rosewater, which... I haven't really used a ton of rose water, so I have to play with that a little bit more. But definitely love my Kosas ones. They also smell like cocoa, which is awesome. I'm trying to make sure you guys don't get too much of a shadow, but also get some light to be able to see this. My camera's kind of causing a shadow here. So hopefully that's better. Then I have these VDL and Morgan Stewart collabs. This is such a beautiful shade but I think I'm going to let it go because it's very similar to these. And then there's this shade in 209 Good Morgan, which I think I have something similar. It would be like Undone, so I'll let that one go as well. Now this brown is in Peachy Beachy is so flattering for my skin tone and it's so hard for me to find a nude, so I'm gonna keep that. And then this one is also in the Breakdown Brown. Very hard to find a brown that looks good on me, so I'm gonna keep that as well. You know what, I really like that orange. I'm gonna keep the orange, which is Lucky Amber. And then I have this lipstick that I made from Bite a few years ago. I'm gonna let that go because I have so many like corally shades. And then I have this one which was supposed to be like my perfect nude, but it wasn't as good as the Morgan one. So I'm gonna let these go. So I'm keeping four, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 lipsticks and getting rid of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's talk some lip balms, tinted lip balms, lip treatments, that type of thing. Um, I use these the most, but I also kind of reach for the same thing over and over, so I feel like I should just let go of a lot of these. I have not used these Glossier ones in quite some time, so I think I'm just going to let all of these go, even though this is so hard because I really love jam. Jam was such my jam, <laughs> but I just don't reach for them, so I'm going to let all of these go. This one I purchased in um, one of my recent orders, but the shade is just too light and it gives me that dead fish lip. So even though I like the idea of it, it just doesn't look that great because it is too light on me. So I'm gonna let that go. Um, I really like these from Physicians Formula, but I don't need to keep all of them. I don't, I'm not gonna keep the lip treatment because I have so many lip balms, but I might keep one of these, which this one's a really pretty brown. And then this one is a pretty peachy. 
um, which I actually like the brown one more, so I think I'm going to let this one go. And then I have these, what are these called? The Eco Lips Brazilian Vegan Lip Tints. Now, I love these. I Brazen is my favorite. These are kind of like the wrong shade for me. Um, for the most part, they're a little like off in terms of shades. So let me just, this one is in bold and you can see it's like almost too brown. And then this one is in brave, which is okay, but I don't love it. And then this one's broken, so we'll just let that go. And then this one is in blissful, which is a little too, um, like, I mean, I like that one actually. I, I'll keep blissful, I think. I really like this little sample from Bobbi Brown. It's their uh, lip oil and it's so pretty and hydrating. So I'm gonna keep that. Some of my favorite lip tints are from uh, Pixie and this is in the shade Natural Rose. It's a really beautiful, just nice everyday rosy tint. And then I have the Burt's Bees in Hibiscus, which was like a long time ride or die. So I kind of just keep that one around as well. But you know what? I actually like my Kosas one more, so I'm gonna uh, toss that. And then I have these beautiful ones from NARS. These are some of my favorites. So this is the original one. This is in the clean cut or yeah, clean cut. And when you put it on your lips, it just provides this like nice hydrating shade. It doesn't turn pinky or anything weird. And there's all these beautiful shades. Not all of them are a great fit for me. I love this coral one. This one is in Torrid. It's beautiful, beautiful coral. And then this one is in the shade Dolce Vita, which I believe I also really enjoy. And then we have this one in the shade Fast Lane. This one is a little bit too pinky in the wrong tone, so I'm gonna let that go. Then we have this one, which is in Turbo. Um, I think it's like a really pretty cherry, but I don't tend to like cherry lip balms so i'm gonna let that go and then this one is in deep throat which is a really pretty shimmery pink but i don't like that on my lips so i'm gonna let that go so in tinted lip balms i'm keeping three four five six seven and i'll be getting rid of one two three four five six seven eight nine ten 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So I did really good in the tinted lip balm game. Let's talk some lip treatments. Now, as much as I love this La Prairie lip and eye, it is so old and I should have gotten rid of it a while ago, but I just love it so much. So I am gonna let this go just because it's pretty much expired at this point. And maybe I'll get a new one in a little bit. The Laneige Lip Sleep Mask is really lovely and hydrating. And it smells delicious. So I'm gonna keep this around a little bit longer. I feel like I kind of just forgot about it. This is a really lovely product from Glow Recipe. It's their Lip Pop and it's an exfol exfoliating lip treatment. So I quite enjoy that. This is a clear lip balm from Kosas. I love it. I have them all over my house and in my purses. This is what I use before I start putting on makeup. This is from Kira Weiss and it's just a clear balm. This is the Guerlain kind of mirror lip product situation. I only keep it around for the packaging. I need to switch out the lip balm because I'm not a huge fan of this shade. It's a little too pinky. So I gotta just get myself a new shade. I'm gonna keep this, it's a lip scrub in brown sugar. I'm gonna actually put this in my bathroom. And then this is just a clear lip balm, which I thought I would keep in like downstairs or something while I work out. So those are it. I'm not really getting rid of too many balms, but I think I use clear balms and treatments all the time. Whew, 
many, many hours later, I am decluttered. I feel so much freer. I feel like my products can be seen. They can breathe. There's room to test out new products and incorporate them into my everyday life to share with you guys. And I just feel clear and better. So I have an entire grocery bag full of the products I will be donating, getting rid of, and recycling and then everything in my vanity is now ready for me to use I even wiped everything down and put them back I hope you enjoyed today's declutter video if you like declutters and you find them soothing and inspiring and motivating then I have a whole playlist for you in the description box I also do do massive new beauty product and wellness product giveaways like I mentioned in the beginning of my videos so a lot of products that I have doubles of that I'm not gonna get to and just brands will send me to give away I run those through my monthly newsletter so all you have to do is sign up and confirm your email in that link in the description box you can also sign up through my blog serenewoo.com everything is linked in the description box you'll get an email maybe once a month updating you on what's been going on with me some of my favorite content I produced that month and then of course a link for you to enter and this past month in July I picked three winners to receive very heavy large boxes of beauty and wellness products and for August I will be doing two winners so every month is a little different but I try to do at least one giant box a month I was doing three because I missed a couple months and then I'm doing two this month because again I missed a couple months in the beginning of 2020 because 2020 has been challenging and so is pregnancy. I just want to take this moment to thank you for watching till the end of this video. And I just wanna remind you that once again, I have way more product than any one person needs or should have. It is part of my job. I will be carefully getting rid of anything I don't use responsibly and that is something that's very important to me i like doing declutters so i will be doing declutters throughout my entire home i do upload weekly pregnancy vlogs and lifestyle videos on mondays beauty dedicated reviews and again beauty wellness lifestyle videos on wednesdays and then fridays i do asmr types of relaxing facial videos now because of covid19 i haven't been able to receive facials or perform facials on people just for safety reasons i am also pregnant and considered high risk right now i have been coming up with like guided nap time self facials with soothing whispers and i'll continue to come up with creative ways to help you relax and de-stress on fridays those videos are a little inconsistent right now so bear with me but i also have a huge playlist of ASMR videos as well as traditional facial videos where I voice over and do not do the ASMR sounds now when I'm at a spa and I'm getting facials done I can't record the sound there because it's very noisy there's usually music playing and I can't turn the music off because we've tried that before and what you end up hearing is a lot of chitter chatter from the waiting room you hear other estheticians and clients you hear traffic noises you hear helicopters you hear a lot of stuff unfortunately when you're at a spa it's not quite as quiet as you think it is it's usually the spa music playing that makes you feel more relaxed and the ambient noise isn't as distracting when you're there in person so that is why i started doing asmr facial fridays where i perform the facials at home or have someone perform them on me where i can control the environment a little bit more and I still do both types of videos because I know you like seeing professional treatments and I voice over those and try to guide you through those facials and then I perform them so that you hear the facial sounds as well as me gently whispering and helping you soothe yourself to sleep. With that being said, that's a little explanation because I know a lot of new people are here and a lot of people are checking out my ASMR videos for the first time and they get really angry and upset, but I try to please both audiences. Obviously, pleasing everybody is not going to happen, but I try to do my best, especially the majority of you guys here. So thank you so much for watching. Check me out on Instagram. I'm on stories pretty frequently. And if you'd like to know more about my pregnancy and all that stuff every Monday, as well as I have a whole playlist about my pregnancy journey. Um, it's been it's been interesting and it's been tough the last few weeks and as i realize i only have four months left before baby gets here i've 
had a lot to think about. But just trying to take care of myself, my family, and my home and stay as positive as I can during this crazy time. So I hope you stay healthy, I hope you stay well, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!